chance. It's Toby. Honey, I'd prefer it if you not have any contact with him until the situation is behind us. Why? What does Toby have to do with anything? He's a friend. You need to be careful about who you associate with. So what, I'm just supposed to ignore him? Not speak to him? Yes. Sweetie, listen to me. You need to be at the festival. If you're not, your neighbors are going to think you have something to hide. I don't really care what my neighbors think. Well, they're not just neighbors, Spencer. They're, they're potential jurors. And most verdicts are decided in living rooms and town fairs. Just take Toby out of that equation, okay? Hey, how are you? Relieved that you're speaking to me. I wasn't sure if you'd heard the cops' theory about me planting evidence. We shouldn't talk about this. So you do think it was me? No, of course not. But I can't say the same for my family. Spencer, you should go home. Those guys have a way of adding two and two and coming up with five. I'll stop by your place later. Um, I'm not sure that that's such a good idea. Why not? Because your parents don't want you near me. Makes sense. How about the festival? Maybe we could meet up behind a tent. Or the fun house. It's seven o'clock. Toby! I need you to drive me to school. I have a makeup test. Okay, just let me get cleaned up. Hey, Spencer. Uh, how's it going? You tell me, Garrett. I thought you were on our side. I don't get to have personal feelings when I'm in uniform. Well, if you put on a pair of jeans, this would be called stalking. Spencer, look. If being trailed is gonna help clear your name, better it's me than someone who thinks you're guilty. Nobody else comes in 
in here until you figure this out. My sister-in-law could have been seriously hurt. Fire. Come on, girls, let's cut through here. Spencer? 